Let's install and prepare a cataract surgery with the Pharos. First, let's unpack the pack. And grab the items. Feel free to scrap the pack. Go ahead, remove the wrap, cassette, fusion line, steril bag for the table or the remote control, and the drainage bag. We go ahead with the cassette, remove the wrap. And now you have two options. Either you hand over the cassette to your jumper's hand and ask him friendly to install the cassette system. Or you can do it by yourself by following a couple of rules to prevent losing your sterile condition. Ensure that your tubing here is freely maneuverable. Have the cassette in one hand, the tubing here in the other hand, and make sort of a U-shape or a U-turn. Insert that U-turn into the first black part here and start pulling with your left hand all around the device. So by doing so, you cannot touch the device by accident. So you finish it off here, guide the tubing into the second black part, release the tubing over here, so it's not sterile anymore, but you don't have to touch it anymore. Go ahead with the cassette, press it down until you hear the click, Grab the small tubing here, and install it in between the irrigation valve here. And you should also notice sort of a click sound. That's it. The cassette is installed. Now you need some assistance from your jumper. Grab the infusion line and hand over the entire infusion line and let the jumper do the installation. For the installation, you connect the cassette system here on the short tube by removing the cover Okay. Put the drop chamber to the BSS bottle and ensure that the valve is always showing downwards. Hang up the bottle and fill the drop chamber approx 50%. Here we go. Hand over the drainage bag your jumper and let him install the bag. First, hang on the bag on the two black hooks with the tubing upwards and finally connect the tubings and ensure that the clamp remains open. Go ahead with the FACO handpiece. Unpack the FACO tip. Remove the cover. And assemble the FACO tip. 
with the handpiece. All the way down, make it tight. For removing the cap, use your pointer and thumb in between the cover and the handpiece, like this. And with the other hand, support the cover and remove it gently. That prevents any bendings or damages on the tip. Grab your sleeve. Now either you pull it back all the way until there is a gap of one millimeter or you screw it down. When you decide for screwing down the sleeve, use some BSS first to have it easier screwing it down. Finally, use the test chamber until the titanium ready to use. On the other side, plug the handpiece into the device, make your control pull to ensure that it stays connected. On the handpiece side, use the irrigation and aspiration lines. We suggest connecting first the aspiration line due to space, and then finally connect the irrigation line. Double check now that the infusion line is open, that all is connected, and then press the pre-op button on the device. When you're still on the system ready screen, select the FACO 1 program first. And press pre-op. As soon as the BSS is in the handpiece, grab the handpiece real quick, upwards, downwards, upwards, remove the air and lay down the handpiece slightly tilted upwards. When you're done with FACO, remove the irrigation and aspiration line from the FACO handpiece. And either you decide for the bimanual solution, so the green indicates irrigation, aspiration, and it works the same for the reusable hand pieces or the single use. If you prefer the coaxial hand piece, go for the aspiration and irrigation line here. Prepare the IA tip. Ensure that the red ring is in healthy condition because that prevents losing the IA tip. And then use the sleeve from the FACO handpiece. And then switch to the IA function, either by the pedal or by asking your support of trust in the OR. In case of needs for an anterior vitrectomy, you simply use a cutter and the irrigation handpiece out of the bimanual IA equipment. It either works with the reusable one as well as with the single use. For visual purpose, we have removed everything 
uh, for the phacal treatment. First, connect your cutter by following the color code, black to black, green to green. Since we are using green screen technology, the green parts might appear in gray. The aspiration line on cutter side, you connect. the aspiration tube and the irrigation with the green handpiece. Ensure that you are in the vitrectomy settings for anterior vitrectomy. 